So larynga renovation is the way to recover the function of the larynx. When we have a unilateral vocal fold paralysis, usually we have a dysphonia and we can improve the uh, restoration of the function with some non-selective renovation of the larynx. This technique is not very difficult to do. When the problem is bilateral, we can do a selective bilateral renovation of the larynx, which is much more difficult, uh, which needs some uh, nerve anastomosis, uh, difficult dissection in the neck, and use of the phrenic nerve or other nerve in, of the, in the vicinity to um, recover the function of the larynx, which is opening during breathing and closure during phonation and uh, swallowing. This workshop is, or, is organized in order to give to the attendants the ability to do the same surgery coming back at home in the um, uh, operating theater and so on. So we do a live surgery from uh, the uh, operating theater of uh, ENT in the Hospital Charnicol, and uh, we retransmit all that things to the medical training center with uh, communication of the participant with the surgeon, so we can explain explain uh, what does happen, how we do, what is the tips, and so on. And we performed uh, two different surgery on two days. One is unilateral renovation, the other one is bilateral renovation. Uh, bilateral selective renovation, which is much more uh, long surgery. And we allow the participants to do uh, anatomical dissection, to find the nerve, to discover the anatomy. And also we allow them, uh, we organize some nerve sutures on the live animals in order to be totally able to perform the surgery when they come back. Uh, the participants to this workshop are coming from everywhere in the, wor in the world and especially uh, at the last session they were coming from North America, United States, South America, Brazil, Chile, uh, they were coming from India, Russia, United Kingdom and other countries. Uh, uh, we were lucky because some of them w w attend were attending the IFOS Congress, which is a Mondial Congress of ENT, Otolaryngology, who was uh, in Paris a few days before.